stir fry is one of the most popular fast dishes of our time, but there are a few tips to making the perfect one every time. So first of all, I'm using chicken this time. Cut your strips nice and thin. This is the secret to having a really tender stir fry. Next, you want to make sure your pan's nice and hot. And so really, really hot, a little bit of oil, and you want to cook your meat in batches first. So I've already cooked some. So nice and hot, that's what you want. You want to hear the sizzle. If you're not hearing the sizzle, that means that your pan is not hot enough. Now you'll notice that I haven't marinated my meat. It's not in a sauce. That's because if it was in a sauce, it can make it stew. I'm going to add my sauces and my flavour a bit later on. And the other tip is not to cook everything at once. Don't put your chicken and your vegetables in together because they have different cooking times and that also is when it's going to stew. But for a stir fry you do have to have everything absolutely ready because it is all about fast cooking and fast actions. So you just want to make sure that the meat is browned and it's the same principle for anything. You could use beef, you could use pork, you could use lamb. And of course, if you're a vegetarian, you just leave out this step and don't indeed add any of the, uh, any of the meat, just add extra veggies or maybe some tofu. Now, don't worry that some bits are sticking on the pan because we're going to deglaze the pan later with some sauce and those will just all add to the flavour of the stir fry. Okay, that's cooked enough, so that comes off again. And you may need to add a little bit more oil and add the slowest cooking vegetables first. So some carrots, I've cut these in julienne strips, and capsicum because they're going to take about the same time to cook. And it's a good idea to cut them into similar sized shapes because then they're going to take a similar length of time to cook. Once again, you don't want you know, to have two things in that take a different cooking time. So we'll just cook this for a minute or two first. If you can't cut them up this finely, you could actually blanch them or steam them first just to stop, soften. But I think I'll just stir fry these for about two minutes on their own. These are softening nicely. So now I'm going to add some more flavouring ingredients. I'm going to use some garlic, finely chopped garlic, and some finely chopped ginger, and chilli. Now these go in at this stage because if I'd put them in at the beginning, they'd be starting to burn by the time I cook the, uh, the carrot and the capsicum. Now some mushrooms. So finely sliced mushrooms, in they go. And we need to stir fry for another minute or two. Oh, the aroma is fantastic. Now they're beautifully softened. So now we'll put the chicken back in. And now's the time to think about the flavourings and the sauces. So what I've got is I'm going to put a little bit of chicken stock in. Remember, if you're a vegetarian, you can leave that out. I've got some soy sauce. I've got some oyster sauce. And then I'm just putting in a little touch of sesame oil just for that lovely nutty flavour. So now this is our sauce. And this is when you have to be quick. Do not keep cooking for too long after your sauce is in because the salt in the sauce will draw out the moisture from the meat. So I'm going to finish off now. I've got some finely chopped sliced cabbage and I've also got some rehydrated rice noodles. So they can go in now as well. And all I've got to do is toss this through. It's just got to warm through and I'll be ready to plate up.